Okay, first off, I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson before we uh, go into the main part of this video. Um, back in 1929 or thereabouts, Meccano introduced a steam engine to go with their uh, construction system. And uh, this is it. It wasn't the first uh, steam engine to be uh, marketed by Meccano under their name, but it was the first one to be specifically designed to be built into Meccano models. As you can see, it was a vertical boiler with a simple oscillating cylinder engine with the reversing valve and lots of Meccano standard holes around here for fitting gears and so on and also in the base and down the sides so that it could be easily built into any Meccano model. Then in the mid 60s, 1960s, Meccano decided that uh, they wanted to upgrade the engine, update it anyway. And they commissioned Mamad to uh, make an a mod more modern version. Um, but they wanted it to be compatible with the old one. So they specified that the base should be virtually the same and the position of the engine and so on. And the basic specification of the engine should be the same. Single cylinder, oscillating cylinder with a reversing lever. And this is what Mamad came up with. Uh, it was a horizontal boiler instead of a vertical one. And the method of reversing was different. Uses a, used a, a, a shifting trunnion point rather than a valve. Um, it's um, because it was marketed by Meccano, not by Mamad. Um, it had Meccano steam engine on the on the side there, and uh, it, it was never actually given a an official Meccano uh, Mamad model number. Um, although since then uh, Mamad collectors have unofficially given it the name Mech One. And in the late 1970s Mamad updated their whole range and um, especially the uh, station engines and they introduced the SP series which replaced the SE series um, there were originally five models in the, in the SC, SP range numbered not surprisingly SP1 to SP5 and this is the SP1 and this is the SP5. Uh, most of the SP range had various characteristics in common like this rather distinctive chimney here which was on most of the range and the um, rather nice uh, 
uh, firebox with the chrome chrome plated sides um, which incorporated a few safety features as well. I said most of the uh, SP range had common styling characteristics were a couple of exceptions. The SP1 here um, was too small to uh, to incorporate the uh, the new style of uh, firebox and boiler, uh, so it stuck with the with the old one from the uh, from the minor one. However, it did include the new style chimney. The other exception was the SP3. Now this was intended to replace the Meccano engine and so was designed to be almost identical with only minor differences. Which meant that it had virtually nothing in common with the rest of the SP range. It didn't have the distinctive firebox and boiler. It uh, didn't have the chimney. In fact the main difference was the colour. You know, in my opinion that's, that was a pity. Some people have said that uh, it, uh, it's, the, it's a major exception because um, it was made to replace the Meccano engine. Um, but that's not really valid because by this time it was no longer marketed by Meccano. It was part of the Mamad range. And in fact, all of the SP series models were designed to replace old SE models. Now the other thing that uh, some people have said was that uh, being good, because it's designed to go into Meccano models, to be built into Meccano models, the uh, new Mamad chimney would would look odd in in some model some models like cranes and so on but that's not really a valid uh, reason either because the chimney just clips on and it's easily removable if um, if the user wants to build it into a model where a chimney like that is is not appropriate. That, that shouldn't have been a problem. So I've never really understood Mamad's reasoning um, why they kept the old Mech 1 style in virtually identical and did not incorporate the, the characteristics of the SP range. As far as I'm concerned they might just as well have, have kept the old Mech 1 and not included it in the SP range. Now to prove to myself and anybody else who's interested that it was quite possible to design the SP3 um, incorporating the, the new SP characteristics I did what Mamad should have done in the first place. I took the an SP3, replaced the boiler and firebox assembly, and fitted a standard SP range boiler. If I remember rightly, this one's from an SP4. Um, and I fitted that to an SP3 I kept the, the engine part the same 
and the, the base is the same. So it's just the, the boiler and firebox which I replaced and as you can see it all fits together rather nicely. And uh, if, the, if, if you don't want the chimney it's uh, easily removable. So this is what uh, what this video is actually all about. So this is what the SP3 should have been. I call it the SP3A. I don't know what Mamma would think about that, if anything. There might be a problem if, uh, if Mamma do themselves decide to do an SP3A, which is not likely, but uh, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Unfortunately, it uses solid fuel tablets, which would not be my first choice. But seeing as the, uh, the whole idea of the project is to make it fit in with the rest of the SP range, it needs to be tablets.
seems to be happier going in that direction than in the other. But that's not entirely unknown for Mamad reversible engines. 